What's up guys, Xawakiris here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be completing the guaranteed La Liga team of the season SBC and also the marquee matchups. Um, I've got two packs in store apparently. I'm guessing they're just crappy bronze packs. They are, I'll just open these quickly, don't care about them. But um, yeah, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you could of course leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. Um, if you didn't see the last video that I put up, it was the guaranteed La Liga SBC. I was supposed to put up my top 100 squad battles reward Sunday night. However, the footage for that was just wrecked. Um, I uh, recorded it, should I say. Recorded it, was all fine, looked back, went to edit it. And for some reason, it just was jumpy all the way through. And then just managed to somehow skip like a minute 30 of the video as well. So I wasn't able to salvage it and put a video up. Um, I came 30 second in the end. And packed as Billaqueta and an inform in a mega pack. And then packed some just 184 I think in a 100k pack. So didn't really get anything out of that. But um, yeah, marquee matchups are here. Don't get great rewards back. Jumbo premium gold pack there which isn't great. Premium gold pack there which is dreadful. Small red gold players pack, which isn't bad actually, considering the team. And a premium gold players pack here. So, it was quite difficult to complete, because as you know, I usually just have loads of players in my club. But, um, I have been using all the rares and non-rares from the, um, just for the upgrade SBCs. So, I have got most of them tradable still. However, I have had to use some higher rated, like 82 Gustavo and Trap. And then just put in some bronzes to lower the rating. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using 82s because I've heard that their price have gone up a lot. But they were just in my club. And for the sake of getting the video done quicker and out quicker, I finished work quite late as it was. So I didn't want to spend too long uh, without getting a video up. These Club Bruges players are going for quite a bit as well, I think. At least like 3.5k, I think, that you can buy them for. I've just gone for Spanish League non-rares because they're the cheapest ones at the minute. Some untradables. But you can see that you can buy them for like 550 just because the Spanish League upgrade SPCs are out. So the normal Spanish players are going to be lower in value as they're just going to be replaced by the untradeable ones in their club. Oh, I've accidentally used a Spanish guy here. So just put in any Spanish uh, centre-back, hopefully. Not one of him. Any Spanish? Yeah, I'll just put a silver guy in. Might be worth something, but for the sake of the video... Again, you only need a 70 team rating, so I should put the Spanish League and Spanish League 2 to get links. Obviously, the Sp uh, the Polish League players and then just a small link and then just any link between the strikers will just get you the chemistry. It's only 85, so you should get that pretty easily. But um, yeah, as we get into our next one, we get Sporting. There's no team rating for this one, so all I've done was just used um, Portuguese League players. You could use any league you want, like you could just use League 2. But I'm never going to use these players anyway, so I don't mind just putting them through. And we only get a 7.5k for, for that. I'm not sure what we get for completing it. We get a prime gold players pack, which I'm not a fan of, to be honest. I'd actually rather a mega pack than a prime gold players pack. But as we head back into the SBCs and have a look at the La Liga team of the season. As I said, the Spanish League team of the season is the cheapest. And I had a lot of untradables from the um, upgrade packs. I think Adariz is tradable and Lopez is, oh no, Lopez is untradable as well. So I've got quite a lot of untradables as you'll see. Um, Vasquez, Adariz and Vieira are the only tradable ones. I decided to use this Callahan because as you can see he's only played one game for me. I was only in squad battles as well so like the stats there were irrelevant. He's two star weak for three star skill moves. He's never going to get in my team so he's untradable. So I don't mind just chucking him in. So um, yeah. That's how I completed that. 84 rated team is actually pretty high. Like I was looking through the players, even with an 89 team this season, and it was taking me a while to get to the team rating. You'll see that I haven't started my squad battles games yet. I'll play four tonight. I hardly ever play them on a Monday, and I always have to catch up during the week. Um, I finished Elite 1 in Foot Champs, so Thursday I'll bring out a video uh, where I'll get four guaranteed tradable team of the season players from La Liga. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do a video tomorrow or not on the rest of the wild player. I might do. If I don't, I'll just put him in with the um, rewards Thursday. 
But yeah, we'll complete these, uh, open these marquee matchups packs and then of course open the La Liga team of the season. So no pack in the first one. There's a few players now that I don't want from the La Liga team of the season. Of course I got Griezmann, who I am not a fan of by the way. I mean he's a 96 rated card, so you can never complain. But I put him in for a few games and he feels very heavy. Like he's he's got one of the worst first touches I've seen. His first touch is awful. Like, it's just, his sprint speed's really low as well. His league SBC actually plays better than his um, uh, team of the season does. And I've been told that he's got no in-game traits. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, that definitely, like, feels like it. That's definitely a reason to why he could feel heavy. To not have a 96 team of the season with the stats that Griezmann's got, to not have any in-game traits, is just pathetic on EA's part. Of course, I haven't looked into it myself, just a mate has told me that's how it is. And if that is the case, then that is just diabolical for that to happen. But um, yeah, if you're looking at giving him a go, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. But I have, I packed also Adan from a 7.5k upgrade La Liga pack, so I don't want him. Same with Roberto, I packed him from a 7.5k upgrade La Liga packs. I've opened a few of the 25k packs and not really packed anybody. So, i definitely actually recommend the 7.5k ones above them. Um, who else is there? Um, I think that's actually it. Of course, I don't want the French flag now. As I say that, we get a French flag there. So, we get Dembele. I've heard the 82s and 83s have gone up a lot in price. Like, I got told that 83s, uh, even 82s are up at like 3k now. Wow. Up to like 7.5k for that 82. Definitely be selling him. What about the 83 Dembele? Yeah, so Dembele's actually extinct. So 83s and 82s have gone up massively. Now would be a good time to play draft. But um, yeah, as I said, I don't want the French flag because that means I'm either going to get an untradeable Griezmann, um, a duplicate Griezmann, should I say, or a Hernandez. And nobody wants Hernandez. So hopefully we can pack somebody good. Who can we get? Of course, let me know in the comments who you use have packed. Of course, it's the blue flare. Can it be a decent flag? We get the Spanish flag, which means it's going to be nobody huge, and it's going to be a Dan, which means he's actually a duplicate, which means I'm going to have to get somebody to send me an invite, and I'm going to have to chuck him into some sort of SVC. So, I've, just, I've got three players in my club that are untradeable. The luck of getting one of them that's untradeable as a duplicate is pretty unlucky, to be honest. I mean, he's got very good stats. I'm not sure if he's got save with leg trait or not. Because, like, that makes a huge difference in this game. The save with leg trait, that's why, like, the game and farmers are so good. Without that, like, he's not really going to be an OP keeper. But any keeper with it is going to be good. He's 6'3", so he's got really good height. Of course, he's got well-rounded stats. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get somebody to send me an invite. Because I'm not just going to discard a 92-rated team in the season. But, um, yeah, not great from the marquee matchups packs. Not a bad pull from the team of the season if I didn't already have them untradeable, which is just unfortunate. Thank you for being here and watching the video. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be very much appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thanks for watching.